So folks, here's a video that goes over how to set a PDF link or a hyperlink behind a QR code. Um, it's a little bit of QR code skill, but mainly focusing on just using uh, Adobe Pro. Um, you could probably find ways to do this with other PDF editors. So I generated this hyperlink right here, uh, or excuse me, this QR code using my LaTeX uh, program um, that allows me to create hyperlinks. I'll point out that it, uh, you know, because I generated it through LaTeX, I can zoom in on it with very high quality. It's a vector-based graphic. It works out really well. And an added advantage is that it's clickable. You could actually click this hyperlink and it would pull up the uh, corresponding website. Great. Well, what if you don't have that? So um, first of all, if you have any questions about building QR codes or putting them into PDF files, um, this YouTube video here, or you could uh, access this uh, QR code, will take you to a previously made video on just getting QR codes into documents. And what I realized that some people had some questions about was, how do you go ahead and put a link behind this if you're not using LaTeX? So if you are using LaTeX, you automatically get a link hidden behind it. But what if you don't? So here you can see I've got a similar QR code, but there is no clickable link in this PDF document. And I think that we should adopt the standard that behind every QR code there should be a corresponding hyperlink because if you email this document to somebody or if you send it to them on their phone they have no way to actually click the QR code or access the QR code so um, what you need to do is just get the cop you know copy your website so we'll copy this and then I'm going to use the uh, some of the built-in features of Adobe and I'll go to uh, I'll click on edit here and click on link and I'm going to add or edit a link. For whatever reason you have to click twice and then I can begin to create an area where I want there to be a hyperlink. So I think the best thing to do is to try to give yourself just a little bit of buffer but to highlight your QR code and um, this is set to visible rectangle. I'll show you what that does in just a minute here and I'll come hit and paste in that website that I want to link to and I hit OK and here you can see here's that document. Now um, let's get out of the edit feature. You can see that uh, this is now clickable. If you hover over it you can see the link. If you click on it it will pull up the, uh, the website. But you can also see there's this rectangle here in the back. I personally don't care for that so I'm going to go ahead and go back into edit and turn that off. So we go back to this. Let's see here. Maybe I should not edit. If I come here to, I think, edit the link, yes, I can change this rectangle to an invisible rectangle, which I prefer because now when you look at this, you don't see that strange border, which may be off if you didn't set it right. So nothing much to this video, folks. It's how to, uh, if you aren't generating your QR codes through LaTeX, which has the built-in hyperlink uh, when you render the PDF, if you just have a, this could work for a Word file, a PDF file, anything, you just go ahead and you grab the area you want to insert the hyperlink and do that. And I really think that that's a good practice for us all to adopt because I think QR codes work great when somebody's got a physical copy of the document, but I think that we shouldn't lose sight of the fact that we've had hyperlinking capabilities for electronic documents for a lot of years and we should keep those going. Anyway, just a quick video. I hope this was helpful. Um, otherwise, I'll see you later.